What's up all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Nearman Condition and today I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting for the last couple of years and that is if I can do a comprehensive reading order of Thor by Jason Aaron. So some of you all waited long enough. Let's do this. And welcome back all you minties. Now, part of the reason that I was hesitant to do this video for so long was because I sold off some of my trades in hopes that we would get an omnibus announcement by now, but we still haven't. As a matter of fact, we only have one. I'll talk a little bit about that um, here in a second, but I figured let's go ahead because I get asked this at least a couple of times a month. Like, how do I read it if I want to get it in oversized hardcover format? So let's go ahead and get started and talk a little bit about the books. So this is the way that I have been collecting these in oversized hardcover format. This is Thor God of Thunder Volume 1. And I'll take a shot of what it all looks like together towards the end. And I'll also let you know where those missing trades that I no longer have need to be read. So this is where it all began. A hundred issues, seven years later, he brought us King Thor, and that's where it wraps up. But before all that, he started with this saga right here, which is the God Butcher Saga. Rumored to be in the movie, and also rumored to be Christian Bell. The, what is it, Love and Thunder movie that is coming out? It's got beautiful artwork by Azad Ribic. So we're gonna do this really quick. We're not gonna do it like our usual reading orders. And in case you want to collect them in this oversized hardcover format, here is the ISBN number for the very first volume. So that means you'll be getting two reading orders this month. Our Patreons uh, voted for, actually they were split 50-50 uh, between Robin and X-Force, so I have to decide which one, and I'm trying to go with my gut instinct. So this is Thor, again, God of Thunder, Volume 2. What you want to look for is that ISBN number right there, because it gets a little confusing since Marvel during this time uh, was releasing some of these in the standard edition hardcover. So you'll see a standard edition hardcover out there of a volume one and volume two of God of Thunder. And that's what confuses a lot of people. They're like, well, which one do I buy? And you want to make sure that the, the one that you buy is the one, like for example, this collects 12 uh, through 25. So that's, I completely understand the confusion. Also, these are available in trade paperback. So. This is now Jason Aaron's second year on Thor, and he's already setting up events that will come into play years later. So let's continue with that. By the way, Ron Garney is now joining Ezad Ribic as one of the artists on the book, as well as Pasquale Ferry. So you have God of Thunder 1 and 2, and now you move on to Original Sin, also written by Jason Aaron. Something happens within these pages that changes the character of Odin's son. And so much so that he is no longer worthy of being Thor and carrying the hammer. So we will look at that in the upcoming volume. But it's very important, I think, to read this miniseries. Uh, there was also a, what is it called, the Tenth Realm uh, miniseries too. So that's a part of the original Sin that was never collected in, in a Thor oversized hardcover. So that's the trade paperback that you will need. Next up, you want to read Thor Adjective List, number one. So it revamps the numbering again. This is the ISBN you need to look for if you want to get them in oversized hardcover format. Now Jason Aaron is joined by the wonderful and talented Russell Dodderman. And Russell Dodderman, they found him on DeviantArt. And I remember like it was a 90s X-Men uh, uh, little picture that he drew. And... People at Marvel, they were like, okay, we got to get this guy. So they got him to draw this, and years later, he was drawing one of the biggest events at Marvel. And you can tell, we have a new Thor. It is a Lady Thor. She is still known as Thor, Goddess of Thunder, not Lady Thor or She Thor. And Odin's son is missing. So what happened to Odin's son? Well, that doesn't really get revealed quite yet. So you stop reading this because something else is about to happen for the entire Marvel Universe, and that is Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars. So the universe is about to be revamped. Some characters from the Ultimate Universe are going to cross over into the 616 Universe, which is what our universe is known as, in case you don't know. There was another miniseries that coincided with this. It's called Thors. That can be read after you read this, during your read through this. And one more thing, that Thor's miniseries was not collected in oversized hardcover format. So that's the reason why I bring this up. Now we have 
the mighty Thor, right? That's what the title is now known as, but it's still Thor in oversized hardcover format. This is the ISBN you need. And this collects, yes, the mighty Thor issues one through 12 uh, because we've had a change again uh, in the Marvel universe. So we are now in a, it's, not like a DC hard reboot or anything like that after Crisis on Infinite Earths or Flashpoint. But there are a couple things that changed, you know, not very drastic, especially for Thor. Thor is still doing Thor's thing. One of the things I will say, though, is immediately after reading this volume, after reading issue 12, you do want to read the Unworthy Thor miniseries. So that's where you find out what happened to Odin's son and why he is really not worthy of picking up the hammer anymore and becoming Thor, God of Thunder. So right now, when you if you go ahead and pick up those traits that I no longer have, it will look like this on your shelf. Just keep that in mind. That's the reading order, and then I'll do a final shot of the ones that I do have. Then we have Thor, Volume 3. ISBN right there what you need this one went up in price a little bit because it collects a lot more than the previous volumes this one collects uh, probably yeah 13 to 23 when it jumped back to the original legacy numbers uh, issue 700 to 706 Thor generations which is the unworthy Thor and mighty Thor not the unworthy Thor miniseries just the one shot and then the one-shot Mighty Thor at the Gates of Valhalla. So again, something happens towards the end of this run that changes everything for Thor. And it continues into Thor Volume 4 that has been solicited and will come out later this year. That contains issues 111 of the new Thor series. It's just adjectiveless Thor. So we went from Thor, God of Thunder, my Thor, adjectiveless Thor, to Mighty Thor, back to Thor, but it's no longer the female Thor being Thor. It's back to Odin's son being Thor. So I'm not going to spoil how that happens. And those two, um, that volume is actually collected already in trade paperback format as two trades. Everything that Jason Aaron has been working on for the past six years when this came out led up to this. And this is War of the Realms. This is not... A story just for Asgard it is now a story for all the realms all the realms are coming here to Midgard which is our earth and attacking us so we have all the Marvel superheroes teaming up with Asgardians and it just becomes one huge badass battle and this is coming out in the biggest Marvel omnibus I think it's 1550 pages so that's how big that omnibus is going to be and it comes out later this year or you know you could read it now this way also while you're reading that this is Thor volume 3 also this will be collected in that omnibus but if you want to go ahead and read it now you can then after all of that Jason Aaron finishes his run with King Thor. Now, this has not been solicited as part of the War of the Realms omnibus. So, and it's also not available in oversized hardcover. But this is King Thor. It's a four-issue miniseries. It's after seven years and a hundred plus issues, Jason Aaron is finished writing his saga of Thor. However, there is a Valkyrie comic book that he co-wrote with Al Ewing. And this is a really fun run. So it's the new Valkyrie. Because something happens again in, during the War of the Realms that I'm not going to get into. But it's a new character. I'm not going to reveal who, but maybe you're fast enough to pause that cover. kind of tells you who it is. Now Marvel has made it a lot easier because they started collecting the Jason Aaron Thor run in these complete collection formats. And it's a lot easier because in, it's in literally in the comprehensive reading order that I just mentioned. It's just in one thick trade that goes for, I believe the retail of this is $39.99. However, we only get one a year, so it's a little bit slower to read. And honestly, you could read it all digitally if you want to, but come on. What kind of monsters are we, right? We like to hold physical books. 
And yes, let me double check. Yes, this one is $39.99. So when it's all said and done, this is what it would look like on a shelf. Now, if you're interested in purchasing any of these books that are still in print, check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. I hope I was able to make this easier for you in case you've been wanting to read these in oversized format and which book to get in the oversized hardcover edition. I'll put the ISBNs in there if you want to freeze frame those shots just to make it easier for you when you're shopping on Amazon, on eBay for those books that are out of print. Let me know if I left anything out. Please leave those comments down below. And I just realized that my bookends are backwards and my wife's going to kill me. She's going to be like, why did I even get you bookends if you're going to treat them like that? And I'm going to be like, I don't know, baby. I'm sorry. I had Asgardian Thor in my head. So don't forget to tune in live tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time where the amazing Amanda, Wonder Maddie, the astonishing Melanie, and myself are going to review Spinning for Old Reader, New Reader. Can't wait to talk about that book. Hope you can join us live. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Patreon and Redbubble. It's a great way to support the channel if you can do so. And thank you to our existing patrons. Please don't forget everybody to stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love to you all.